Ruining these headers, or it's gonna be me building some badass turbo headers. But we got it all tacked up. We got the front face of it tacked up because what we're gonna do is chop this guy right here and then take this and stuff it over this and weld it up. But we're probably gonna cut it like right here, or right here, because we don't want it this high because the throttle body probably sits like this high and we want this about the same height because the turbos are going to pop out of the hood but I don't want like the whole entire turbo out of the hood I only want like half the turbo out of the hood and then we got it tacked up on the on the flange over here but it's looking pretty good so far so pretty much what we got to do now is I'm going to take some measurements on my truck now to make sure it's clear of like the power steering pump because that's right there and it's clear of the AC compressor because that's right here and then on this side I'm going to get it all tacked up and then after they're both tacked up and looking good then I'll weld them up and call it good so I'm going to get that other side done or all tacked up so you saw me do the one side but I'm just going to whip out the other side quick and then we'll get them measured up and see if they actually are going to fit and then call it good and then TIG weld them up get the flanges on there weld some T3 mounts on there make a wastegate spot for them and call them good. Sorry about the fan noise and the welder noise in the background, but we got one little practice TIG weld in. I'm liking how the machine's set up. So now we're gonna flip this engine and I'm going to TIG weld the bottom of these first because I want to grind the tack welds down so when I TIG weld it, you don't see an ugly bump in the weld. So what we're gonna do now is, yeah, flip the motor up, hook up the welder to it and start TIG welding it while it's attached to the motor. And the reason why we're doing that is TIG welding most of it, because I won't be able to do all of it, but like 90% of it is going to be TIG welded while it's attached to the motor, is so that flange doesn't warp while I'm TIG welding it. So let's get right back into it and hook you guys up there and take a look at the TIG weld.
So after a grueling time trying to TIG weld these headers, I don't know if I had the wrong filler material or if I didn't surface prep them enough, but it just kept like cottage cheese cheesing. Like it kept getting air bubbles in the weld, so I ended up just getting really mad and like MIG welding the whole thing. So it's like half TIG, half MIG, but it turned out super actually nice, I'm not gonna lie, because I actually had a thought to MIG weld it first. But I decided not to because I was like, I got this fancy ass TIG welder, I might as well use it. But, I don't know, stuff happens, so they're MIG welded. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side is I'm going to TIG weld the tops and bottom and then MIG weld all the way around it. Um, this flange did get a little warped, so I'm going to have to get a uh, flat sander and put the flange on there to flatten it out. Because if you guys can tell, just even setting it on here. See, I can rock it back and forth. That's just from welding and it warping because I took it off the head because I needed to weld all of it. So, But it's looking pretty good. So I'm going to chop it off now. Just end off right here. And weld my uh, collector in there. And then this side should be good for now. And then I'll have to do the other side. All right, guys. So I just pretty much went along and finished the right side. I got it fully TIG welded. I MIG welded a couple spots on it. But it's kind of funny because... I actually TIG welded this one perfectly all the way around it. Didn't have any Swiss cheesing or bubbling at all on the right side. So I got it all tacked up. I had to match the left side, so it took a little bit longer, but it turned out pretty awesome. Just look at it. It looks absolutely crazy. So just imagine T3 flanges and turbos sitting on the ends of each of these. That's it's absolutely nuts. But I think I'm gonna end the video right here, guys. Uh, if you guys like the video, please like it. Um, follow along the build. This will be going in my 99 Ram 1500, which I call Betsy. And it will be a twin turbo 5.9 Magnum. But I think these long tube headers turning into turbo manifolds is turning out really nice. So I'm, I'm absolutely stoked with how it turned out. Like if you come over here, my TIG welds were pretty decent on these guides. You can see I MIG welded right there in between because I couldn't get my TIG welder in there, but I think these things are gonna be strong. I could probably sit on these right now if I wanted to, and they're level, and I hit my head on the light. Well guys, uh, so also again, my analytics, and 80% of my views are from people who do not subscribe to me. Please help my channel and subscribe. It would I would appreciate it a lot if you guys subscribe to this channel because it does help fund these builds. I'm not making any money right now, so I can't even say it helps fund these builds, but it'll eventually help fund these builds. And I like to know that more people are watching, you know, yada, yada, yada. But thank you guys for watching. This is gonna turn out freaking awesome. And as always, keep it boosting. We'll see you guys next time. One day